In this figure, we'll examine lactate production, use, and recycling. We're going to use this hypothetical cell down here to lay this all out. And what we've done is we've divided the cell in half to show you the anaerobic pathways, ATP production from the glycolysis, separated from the aerobic pathways over here on the left, ATP from glycolysis and the Krebs cycle and electron transport chain. And of course, we're focusing on glucose as an energy source right now. Don't forget that fats and amino acids can also be used for energy production oxidatively, but only at the mitochondria. They are not involved in glycolysis. Now, so glycolysis always produces pyruvate, and then that pyruvate can go one of two directions, either the anaerobic to the right or the aerobic to the left pathway. And again, there could be a mixture of the two. When O2 is deficient, we're going to run this uh, pyruvate toward the production of lactate. This is because oxygen is required through the mitochondrial actions, and when it's absent, these reactions won't take place. The pyruvate would accumulate, and then in the outlet would be through lactate dehydrogenase to the formation of lactate. When oxygen is present, that uh, pyruvate can readily enter these oxidative pathways and we can produce ATP much more efficiently, more ATP per glucose. Anaerobic pathways are very inefficient. We get much less ATP per glucose, but we can produce ATP much faster, which makes the anaerobic pathways very good and very effective at producing lots of ATP quickly in, for instance, our fast twitch muscle fibers. Now, what happens to that lactate? Well, that lactate can actually leave these cells and be used oxidatively for the production of ATP in adjacent cells that are acting aerobically. Um, it can also be taken up by the bloodstream and delivered to the liver, where it then is converted back to pyruvate and then glucose. And that glucose can then leave the liver, enter the bloodstream, end up back out in circulation and be taken up for oxidative use or for storage as glycogen in these muscle tissues. And that whole process of lactate being produced and then recycled back to glucose for reuse or storage is called the Cori cycle. And so uh, there's a multitude of factors that determine whether or not we're producing significant amounts of lactate and how rapidly that lactate is being cleared. Is it being oxidized? by other tissues, uh, like other muscle tissue or the heart, or is it being taken up by the liver to reproduce glucose in the Cori cycle and then allowing that glucose to be recycled and used again uh, elsewhere for metabolism?